Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV, guys. So we react to something completely different. This is gonna be Andrew Tate makes TV feminists leave the show. Whoa, I believe he has that kind of power. Like, guys, let's get straight into this. Most men are basically invisible. There is not a female on the planet who's invisible today. You can be a four, overweight, fat. You'll still go to the club and get attention. 99% of the men go to the club and nobody even fucking talks to them. If they try and talk to a girl, they get blanked and ignored and t told to f Most men are absolutely not really invisible. This is the truth about masculinity, right? It's very easy for women to sit here and complain about the top 2% of men. Because I met with that with this guy, he's arrogant, blah, 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 blah. Most men don't even fucking exist. They send 10,000 DMs and never even get read, let alone replied to. Okay, um, were you guys... What, what's up? You're, you're saying something, or did you need to use the bathroom? I have to leave. Oh, yeah, we're leaving. Yeah. We're yeah. dipping. You gotta leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But thank you. Well, thank, thank you guys you. for thank you guys for coming. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank yep. You. Uh, really quick, actually, before you leave, do you guys want to do a quick reaction to that video? I feel like my reaction is the same as how I reacted to. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't. I honestly like. I don't know. I just think that. The real world and these like hypothetical situations are just not one and the same and you can compare them but i just like i don't know it just doesn't do it for me it's just not real enough so what what's not real like your depictions of these situations are not in my mind like even semi-relatable you know like i just don't agree as far as the so you think men and women initiate at the exact same rate no, I don't. But I think that for every man and for every woman, life is just like so many factors and variables. And th you just like cannot paint broad with broad strokes when it comes to relationships. I mean, you can you can speak in generalities. Yeah. And I, I would say, broadly speaking, probably 90 per of of all the first dates that have ever been had in the past 20 years, probably 95 percent of those were initiated by men. Yeah, I'm sure it's like. But also, if you look at like the span of history, men were initiating dates because like women used to have no rights and like weren't even allowed to do anything so it's like what were they going to do initiate a date like there's no there's no there's nothing so but thank you so much for having yeah, us thank you okay they are gone it's past their bedtime guys they're they're professional you know uh go that way guys go that way um oh it are you wait what Oh, you're not staying? You're leaving too? You can't stay for the video? All right, uh, you move on over there. We'll, we'll uh, divide the sides. All right, it's, a, it's now a two versus two. They, they heard Tate and they rage quit. Um, so <laughs> take, take the seat that hasn't been. All right, guys, I guess uh, triggered by Andrew Tate. <laughs> It's now 2v2. Two, two two. Um, okay, well, thank you guys for staying with us. We're going to wrap up here pretty soon anyways. Um, so, your reaction to the video. I forgot. Oh, I, I, I don't forgot. like Andrew Tate, so... You don't like Andrew Tate? Well, I mean, I don't, like, have a strong hatred towards him. Like, he's kind of funny, but I don't agree mm. with most of the things he says about women. Sure, okay. Man, I, I mean, it was kind of like, it's kind of annoying because like she said this whole piece at the end there and I was like, and then she's like, okay, bye. Like I, I didn't even have time to rebut it, but uh, whatever. Um, not you, the lawyer chicks that left. Um, so do you want to give your reaction to the uh, Andrew Tate video? I mean, I think it's such a weird one because there's, there's a lot of stuff that Tate says that's so like, so one-sided i think some of the stuff he says there is definitely like you know facts in it but that's also me talking as a guy however i do think there's a lot of shit that he says that's just like dude you're going like way too far with this one i don't know mm. okay good times good times so <laughs> yeah i mean the, the whole thing is is that like i don't know where she was going with it because i mean the the lawyer chick she when I asked, like, what of the percentage of men that you think in the past 20 years that have initiated, like, the first date, and I said, I thought, I thought hey, it's probably 95% of men. She's like, yeah, I probably agree with that. So it's like, I don't really know where she was, what she disagreed with me on, but, like, 
you need not look further than a dating app to see that like, bro, if you're an average guy on a dating app, it is fucking brutal. If you're an average guy on a dating app, you're on Tinder, you're playing fucking Russian roulette with your self-esteem. And by the way, every single fucking, uh, oh, what's it called? The, where the hole? <laughs> uh, every single chamber, is it, are there, bro, the gun, every single, there's the full round. Jesus, I'm fucking butchering this. Basically, the revolver, ever, I don't know fucking gun shit. There's a bullet in every fucking hole. <laughs> What's the term? Is it chamber? It's fully loaded. The chamber's loaded. It's just, fully, just use chamber. Just it's, use chamber. Yeah, it's fully loaded, right? If you're an average guy on a dating app. It is a foregone conclusion if you're on a dating app that it's just fucking brutal. Your self-esteem is going to be destroyed. So anyways, um, yeah, so I don't know, like, how you can conceivably think that there's some sort of uh, advantage or that, that it's somehow comparable between men and women when it comes to dating. I mean, most, most men are invisible to most women. So, Guys, I, I agree with what he said, but I will also disagree, to be honest. Like, let's go back to what Andrew Tate said. Like, what Andrew Tate said, yes, most of it is correct. Like, when you're in club, there are some women who can like there's a women like who want to notice a certain guy, like some certain guys are invisible to them. Yes, agreed, like that is a fact. But if I'm being honest, okay, what he said is actually correct because he said that some percent of guys that we get the attention, but some like some average guys wouldn't. But to be honest, I feel who cares? Like, but there, there are also some ladies who don't really get attention, to be honest. Like from average guys, they don't get attention. And I would say in the first century, I would say they are average people anymore because everyone is trying to look, everyone is trying to outdo themselves. I will use that word. Everyone is looking great. Like we're already getting things from fashion designers, like some fashion gurus on YouTube. Like you already know how you can dress and look nice. Like you can look nice and classy with like, not really, like not with a lot of money but you can also look nice get a nice watch and stuff and i feel you don't really have to be among the top two percent to actually look nice so that statistic is not really correct i would say based on the fact that i wouldn't say that average guys like everybody is looking okay i think we're talking about this to make sure you reply in the comment section guys i'll see you next time guys please.